Hi! So today we are doing a nice summer reset. Start off with the Glitter Bells Extreme Length Tips. Just coming in with Pink Bell cover here and creating a nice smile line in the middle. Using the side of my brush nice and flat to create those nice straight edges. And then obviously creating that nice rounded bit at your tip. The key to this is keeping your brush nice and wet and clean. So then the acrylic obviously doesn't stick to your brush as you're trying to mould it into the shape you want. Using the belly of my brush there just to pat it down. Coming in with the second bead here at the cuticle. Again, keeping it fairly dry so then it's not running everywhere and stays in place, ready for you to mould it into the shape you want. Pass a little hair there, or glitter, one of the two. sure it's nice and even on both sides so now I'm coming in with lemon fizz at the cuticle I'm um, sorry at the tip even just placing it there and dragging it down towards the tip just going to cover each full nail with the this colour I'm not normally a pastely person and I certainly don't like normally anyway like lemon sort of colours but for some reason I've really fallen in love with this colour lately. I've done quite a few pastely sets. Obviously just trying to get it as smooth as possible but don't worry if it's not totally perfect because you're going to be covering it in glass slippers anyway so, and then obviously filing fixes everything so again same technique here just making sure it's fully covered at that tip So obviously I've done that with each of the nails and I'm coming in with Glitter Bell's non-white top coat once I've filed them all. Um, so here I've actually kind of mixed up my own colour from the gel paints that Glitter Bell's just recently released. So I believe to get these colours I mixed Glowing which is like a neon yellow. And Volcano again, which is like a neon type orange, and then a little bit of Retro, which is like a kind of reddish brownish colour. So, and then I've just made a darker version and a lighter version of those two mixes by adding a bit of white and um, to get that sort of sunflower colour. I didn't want it to have perfect petals if that makes sense. I wanted a more of a watercolory effect so I'm just literally using my brush and just creating those like little dragged out lines and a little bit of darker bit here and there. So I added the centre with the black gel paint and here I'm just obviously slowly kind of feathering out the black towards the petals just to add that little bit more depth really. And that's the end result. I hope you like them and I'll be back again soon. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye!